What's going on, everybody? It's Dominic with Power Slap News, and joining me is the champ, John Davis, the machine. How's it going, John? Oh, it's going good. Thanks for asking. Thanks for having me back on. I'm so happy to have you back on. Thanks for taking the time to come talk to us again. So let us know, man, what's life been like ever since uh, you've been, we went power slap. Like, how's your life changed? I've been seeing you at different events. I've been seeing you out there flexing. Like, what, what's life been like for you? Uh, busy, definitely busy. You know, I'm, I'm, if I'm not working my regular job, I'm trying to do something to help me, whether it's uh, workouts or social media, or I'm, I'm always busy at this point from the moment I get up to the moment I go to sleep. So <clears throat> other, other than that, like you said, the events have been cool with the, the, the side stuff and that we've got to do, especially for the upcoming event has just been, uh, again, a, a one. Oh, I think I lost you there. John? Oh. Are you back? There we are. There Sorry, we my wife had to cut out. For a second, no problem. Oh, again? Back. No, no, we're having some problems. Oh, maybe? Can I hear you? Still nothing. No. I see you. The video's working now. I don't I don't hear you though. Oh, I don't understand. There we go. There, there we go. We're back. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry. Man. No, I think it's my Wi-Fi cutting out. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah, you're just letting us know you're going out to the events. The events have been awesome. Yeah, yeah, we got to go out to the SLS skateboarding event, so that was really cool. Uh, you know, uh, again, the the VIP treatment we got there was, you know, uh, all new, all new to me. Uh, and then a little trip out to Vegas because we had <clears throat> little promo stuff that we had to take care of. So again, fun, fun stuff, but always busy. Yeah, man, that sounds awesome. I mean, keep it an eye on your Instagram. I saw you. I think it was you and AJ at that uh, skateboarding event there. That looked pretty fun. Like, I've been seeing you, man. You've been out there posting. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to do as much as I can to keep all that stuff out there and keep the ball rolling and build build my name up as big as possible. Well, speaking of staying busy, it looks like you're talking to us in between sets here. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but what are you doing training specifically for power slap? Like what has changed from season one, I guess, to like this in between season two? Um, being able to focus more on what we learned from uh, Darius and Wolverine in the house and then adding more stuff that I've kind of either learned or tweaked started to mess with over time i'm not working out at this very second i'm just using it as a chair so i i do take a little bit of a break during the day but i'm still going to do something tonight whether it's a sauna or a run or something along those lines but i already worked out once this morning so nothing's nothing like uh unique like i know Dwayne said that he figured out that um discus like a discus thrower is working out the same muscles he was doing a lot of batting cages because he said that was similar like kind of motion similar muscles kind of thing were you doing uh, anything unique like that that you're kind of figuring out a little edge to power slap uh i like he said it's definitely movement related so i feel like any sort of workout that you're doing with those movements you know can kind of kind of help you out as long as you know what you're doing or what you're trying to feel for. So, you know, again, I'm just, I'm still kind of trying a bunch of different stuff and I'm not too, too ready to give my secrets away yet. So. I know a lot of you guys hold a little bit of that, hold that stuff tight to the chest. Um, Matt Strickland there invented his, his slapparatus. <laughs> and I know we took all those posts down about that. So he's keeping, keeping those inventions real, real tight right now. All yeah, that. that's how you got to that's how you got to try and keep a little bit of a uh, little bit of excitement in the game at the moment cuz I'm sure eventually it's only going to be able to get so high but <clears throat> you never know at the same time people could come out with some sort of crazy thing that you never would have guessed. Well, speaking of hype and, and craziness, we have Power Slap 2 on the horizon. You're fighting well Wesley. What's that like? What you are you excited for this? Are you ready to come back in there? Like what are you feeling coming into this as as the champion? I'm ready to go. I'm super pumped up. This is a match that him and I both kind of have been planning on. Uh, we knew it was going to happen eventually when we were on the same team. 
uh, at the beginning of the show. So uh, to, to it finally happening now, we both were definitely ready, f ready for it. And it's going to be a hell of a show. I know that for sure, because I know we're both definitely anticipated this compared to any other fight, at least in my eyes, that we would have had so far. So you kind of already knew this guy's going to be coming up. As long as he keeps going, everything stays well. Eventually, me and him are going to cross paths. And based on the last one, you were kind of already like, it's going to be him. In your mind, you were already prepping. Absolutely. As like I've said before in a couple of other interviews, he only ever dropped to number three and he was number one. So there's no reason why any point in time he would be out out of the idea to compete for a belt. You know, anyone in the top five, I would say at least right now that has a, some sort of record at least going on. Cause I know some of the guys are new or haven't got to compete again. Um, he's just, you know, he, he was number one. So I figured that's probably what was going to happen. And then when we got the phone calls, we both, we both had agreed and we're, we're good to go. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you your thoughts on Dana White saying he wants to reach out and make this thing global. He's looking for talent to come out of Russia, Poland, South Africa. I've been talking to a lot of power slappers. You guys are, are real like grassroots cowboy boots American for the most <laughs> part. Everyone I talk to is like, yes, bring on the Russians. They want their Rocky moment coming up on stage. Is that you too? Are you also excited for that? Uh, I don't care where you're from or who you are, as long as you're willing to go up there and throw, you know, throw hands and see who's still standing at the end of the day. I respect you for all that. So the, the fact to make it global to get more eyes on us and to legitimize things even more than they already have been, I don't see any downside to that, you know. And then, of course, the, the TV show aspect of it that's going to be happening over there, any, anyone and everyone's just chomping at the bit to get that opportunity. But you're not you're not jazzing up the flair. You're not coming out with the stars and stripes like the Chael Sun in suit. I mean, I've already worn the flag on my boots well, every time I've weighed in. So at this point, I'm gonna have to start pulling pulling something out. But you know, it it is what it is at the moment. And like I said, I don't hold nothing against nobody from where they're from. As long as they're as long as they're coming up there to compete and they really want to do this, then I'm I'm game. You know, especially if you're. If you've gone through like what a lot of people in this uh, competition have where you've, you know, been through some shit in life, a lot of those people that are going to have been through some shit and definitely be ready to go up there and put on a heck of a show. Yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you, speaking of stepping up, we've seen this next next batch of fighters. They say they want to step up. They say they're ready for power slap. Have you seen any of the power slap Wednesdays that have dropped anybody from this new batch of talent really catching your eye as a possible real up and comer in the sport? Um, I mean, everybody they've put on uh, had a good show, except for the one where the, the guy got KO'd in the first round. There's not much he can do about that. He went out there and tried, you know. Um Every everyone's done good as as showmanship wise, you know. I like I like the action. I definitely would say um, Debo and Fields. Their their match was an exciting one that is putting up good numbers, and they definitely look promising. You know, like everybody, when you first do it, there's the nerves you got to get over, and the little little tiny tweaks in your technique to help get you a little bit more power and a little bit more wear on your opponent. But it was definitely a hell of a show. Yeah. Well, I know you told me you don't want to give away your secrets, but I'm going to ask for, for one anyways here. Coin toss. What's your secret? You got a lucky rabbit's foot. What are you doing? Horseshoes in your pocket? Like what? What's your secret walking up to that coin toss? Uh, man, that coin toss is left up to the universe. You know, I've I've made it further in life than I ever thought I would. So it's all been luck at this point. And if it, you know, whatever, whatever side that coin lands on, so be it, because it's been two in a row I've lost and it's been two in a row matches after those lost coin uh, tosses that I've won. So at this point, those, those stats don't mean too much until uh, a couple more times where it happens and they somewhat, someone possibly takes me out, but good luck. So no lucky underwear for you then. You just leave it up to the universe and let it let it work out how it works out. 
Yeah, no lucky underwear, but comfy ones for sure. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Um, so coming up, we have Vegas. I'm going to do my best to be out there. I'm going to try to grab you guys for interviews in person. Hopefully we got the time to make that happen out there. I'm really excited to see Power Slap Season 2. Dana White, have you heard the numbers he's been boasting? What are your thoughts on that? He's saying Power Slap is doing better than some of these big sport leagues, NBA, NHL, WWE. Like, do, do you feel that same type of numbers on you on your social media or is this just kind of heading hitting like the mainstream accounts uh i mean you can see it when you go look at there's just certain posts that people are drawn to you know for some reason uh me and john kennedy have gone viral on multiple platforms from our our fight you know Vern has multiple um ones that have gone big uh ryan uh, Ryan Phillips, shout out to him, him and a one eyed wolf. There's is to this day, just a never ending real. Um, yeah, I, I believe that the numbers that he's talking about that are, are going up because like he said, there's all this social media stuff and, you know, I want to see the third party who came in and put the numbers in. Cause I saw the interview that he had the other day. Uh, you know, I'm just interested to see what exactly they are because, you know, like he said, you could see, the numbers rolling in in the live event and I could see them, you know, as I walked down, there was a spot where you could notice them. And I, I can say that it was a very high number as I walked down from that podium. So, and I'm sure it only got higher from that point on for the next two matches. Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy, man. I think the sport is blowing up. I'm seeing more and more like little leagues showing up. I think there was one out of Japan. Now we saw somebody, I think I saw, Chris, um, KO Chris posted the video that yeah. added up face, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So there's just more and more of these slap leagues. And I think if Dana White does this thing right, he sanctions it like, like he's doing slow and steady state by state. And maybe like he's doing a season two, the, the global reach, make sure everyone coming in is nice and clean. I really do think power slap is going to be one of the future, like spectator sports. Absolutely. You know, people, people want what they want, you know, people who like darts, people who like chess, people who, you know, billiards, any, any little niche thing over time that people are interested in. We just happen to be in the most advanced time and, you know, a great deal with rumble shout out to rumble that, um, that it's going to be, you know, to, uh, viewed so much on their platform on top of all of the other social media that were posted on, you know, uh, I know YouTube numbers, if they still have stuff on there, they go up real quick. Uh, like I said, the, the Instagram numbers um, of the stuff that I've looked at, some of them are, you know, uh, even on the UFC page. I think it was the Volkanovsky uh, Chemayev fight, or not Chemayev. Um, trying to think here. Well, it was for the 155 belt. I can't remember his name now. But uh, th their their Instagram posts were in between one of ours, and their their numbers together wasn't even one of the power slap posts, you know. And that's nothing against any of them; it's just what the numbers are turning out to be. Yeah, no, I think you guys are on the like the cusp of something really big here, and being those ones to kind of lay the foundation, you guys are gonna set yourselves up to be there kind of forever, whether it be you know coaching or in the future maybe we see you as like a coach in the house right as like uh you know i could see that john davis one of the coaches out there and versus somebody else like, i think that'd be pretty awesome absolutely i would love to coach i would love you know commentate anything that they want me to do i want to be the the go-to guy for all of this stuff and and then some so any opportunity i can get i would love to but yes definitely at this point you know pick pick me for a coaching job that would be awesome you want to see some you want to see some real workouts and and things going in intensely it's going to be a lot of fun if i'm able to get in there you want to be the other you want to be on the other end of the noodle this time Oh, yeah. I mean, out if, if cameras step aside, we can see what the guys got if they have an issue. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But <laughs> no, keep, definitely. Keep the team definitely in line. Yeah, right. It definitely would be a good time. And then it's also the building dynamic of how, you know, how we were brought into it. There was a lot of. Oh, I think I lost you one more time there. felt in between one another you build a pretty good relationship fast
There we go. It, it, it like sped up. I still heard you in there. But I thought you were going to say when you guys brought in, there was a lot of howler head whiskey. And this time around, you're going to make sure for your team, you control the amount. Oh, God. If I'm, I doubt I have any control over that, even if I was in a coaching position, because they're going to slide those. In. Man, again, I heard you ask someone the other day, like, I don't drink anymore. So even even they were sneaking them in behind me and I didn't know how they were doing it. So it was some SWAT team. I don't know if there was people running through the ventilation systems or what, but they would just pop up out of nowhere. Oh, Someone cool. would say Howler Head and it would just poof. I was told the houses had trap doors. They're on the other side and then the wall would just spin. The empty bottle would just flip with a, with a, with a full one. A straight Scooby-Doo, man. Yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> that's crazy man well i don't want to take your entire evening away from you i know this is your free time i really do appreciate you coming out and talking to me before i let you go though i'm going to give you the floor where can the people find you what do you got going on besides power slap you got anything else any merch anything outside of there that people can hit you up and maybe buy anything or do anything along those lines uh, no merch yet. I'm working on it. Uh, shout out to my sponsors. You can check everything out on my Instagram at J O H N underscore Davis underscore J M D. Uh, that's where I pretty much post everything. I have my Twitch link on there. My sponsors that have been uh, sending me stuff, some shirts, some CBD pain stuff uh, should be some more coming soon. Hopefully I can get all that squared away and lined up and, uh, if, uh, if, if possible, hit you up for another interview so I can put all that out there before or after. Let's do it, man. If you got anything you ever need to announce or anything you want to promote, you know, I'm your guy. I just thought of something, something just hit me right now. Do you defend this belt? Do you get a Ruby? Have they talked to you about that? Do you guys, what's the power slap kind of like, what are they giving you guys there? Are they going to change that up to like a Sapphire blue? Keep the theme. <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. That's definitely a, a good question that I've, I was thinking about that the other day myself. So as soon as I find out, I will definitely try. Well, if I'm allowed to let anybody know, I will. Don't, cause... don't let them shaft you. Tell me you, <laughs> you want that Ruby. I want a gold one. Got a game. Something new for power stop, right? They got right? a nice fancy belt. Let's get some, uh, what, when you defend it, what do you do? Right? Like, yeah, make it a gold like instead of a gold Ruby or a Ruby, make it a gold tooth, something a little more memorable. Okay. <laughs> stick them, stick them into the belt. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to the card in Vegas. I'm hoping to see you out there. I'm excited for power slap the future of it. Thank you so much for coming out and speaking to me. Yep. Thank you very much. Hope you have a wonderful day. You too, man. Thank you.